Hey, what's up guys? So, about six months ago I saw a promo for these Ray's Formula FN2 lug nuts. Uh, these, the seating part twists so it doesn't mess up the paint on your wheels. And then they have the little end caps right here. You need a tool to remove that. And they're also installed from the inside instead of the outer section so it doesn't scuff up the lug nut. Uh, just like the monoliths that I'm running right now, my only issue with the monoliths is that it's a bit too short. I want them to stick out a little bit more. The monoliths are 40 millimeter length. I believe these are a little bit longer. I think like 40, yep, 45 millimeter. So let's see how they look. Here's how the FN2 raised formula nuts look with black caps. Here's that bottom ring I was telling you about that rotates. Let's check the weights. The raised formula nut. And 71 for the monolith. Not that big of a difference. What do you guys think? Raised formula nuts or monolith? Alright, so I compared these two because I like that both lugs tighten using a key. The one thing I hated about the Duralumin raised lugs is that they get so damaged on the exterior. I give the slight edge to the raised Formula FN2. They come with that spinning tapering ring so they tighten stronger and more precise but also it doesn't damage the wheels when you take the lugs off. I've seen a lot of wheels where when you remove the lug you see a big chunk of mis paint missing on the wheel. Uh, the cap is also aluminum instead of resin and it has that rubber seal. I noticed when I took off the monoliths I had some dust and debris and stuff inside where the threads are but you won't get that with the raised lugs. Also the FN2 come with that sick JDM box. I leave my wheel lock in there and then a key for the caps and whatever else I want to put in there. If the Rays FN2 were the same diameter as the monoliths they would be perfect. They're just a little bit too narrow. Like if the monoliths were a little bit longer like the FN2 then those would be really nice also. But I'd still give the edge to the FN2 just because of the aluminum caps with the rubber seal and also the spinning tapering ring. All the links to these lugs are posted below. They're my affiliate links so I would appreciate it if you use those. Give me a like and subscribe. I've got some really cool JDM stuff coming soon. Thanks for watching.